Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I was thinking about a song that popped in my head just a minute ago. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up higher and higher and he will lift you up. Now listen, <laughs> what I noticed is you ever watch people who have a hard time taking instruction? They have a hard time receiving counsel, suggestions, any type of a hint here or there. You see them trying to do something and you want to make it easier on them and you try to show them an easier way and they're, oh, I got this. I've been doing this for years. I've got this. Well, that's part of the problem. Many people will not get what they need from God the way they think they will because I got this. Yeah, I got this. Now, there are times you think you got something. Bad English, but you get me. You think you got it. And what God is trying to show you is there's a much easier way. Let me share an example. And now I've been doing artwork for years, okay? And what I noticed is when I was um, in my early 20s, I was more of a novice. I did my little oil painting, my little short, soft pastels, charcoal, whatever. And I would always start with the eyes. I don't know why, but they eyes fascinate me. So... I would always start with the eyes and it would sometimes take me two days to get a face completed where it actually looked alive with the personality of the person in it and everything. Okay. Now I took a head drawing class 10 years later in my mid thirties. And this man showed, showed us in the class how to Start in, not with the eyes, not with the features. Start in with shadows. Shadows, you say? Shadows? I never heard that before. But my ears were open. And this man, once he started showing how you deal with all the dark areas first, and you just fill that in as a smudge, so that everything else you place in location will be in better proportion to everything else. And when I saw him do that, then he said, after you finish with all the dark areas, go in with the biggest features first. And I thought, wow, look at that. So what that ended up doing was shaving about 25 hours of work, guesswork on my part. And my artwork became way more accurate as a result. Do you see what I mean? So we have to always be willing to learn from one another so that we're not locked in, we're not tied up, uh, bound to one way of doing things. You'll find that there are many different roads that lead to a certain location. And if you're not flexible, your life will be way more difficult because for you, it's your way or the highway, baby. You don't want to hear it. And if somebody tries to give you a suggestion, it may even be a child. You will laugh and think, ha, what can they tell me? Here's another example. I know a woman who was cooking liver. She was sauteing liver in a frying pan with onions the whole nine yards. But the liver always came out tough and chewy. So the late the man she was cooking for was her neighbor. The daughter happened to be there who was young enough to be her daughter. She was the home chore worker. The daughter was living there with her father. The daughter came up and said, can I show you how my mother did it? My father loves it that way. 
and she has a smirk on her face. But she steps back, she humbles herself, and she allows the young lady to show her. When the lady dips it in the flour, it's all seasoned, and she drops it in the hot grease and lets it brown and flips it over and lets it brown and pulls it out. She looked at her to, as if to say, you think that's done? When she cut the liver, the liver was done, but it melted in the mouth. And she was so shocked that she, having loved it so much, changed her MO and decided to cook liver that same way that that young lady showed her. Now, I say that to say, if you are not humble, you will miss out on a lot of things that could save you time. It could save you gas. For example, one thing I notice about a lot of men, born again Christian and, and sinner alike, you have this in common. You will drive around, you could be lost for minutes, half an hour, an hour, and while the woman's on the side saying, why don't you just ask somebody for directions, pull over. I got this. I got this. I know where I am. I just made a wrong turn. When all they had to do was pull over, ask one of the locals, how do I get here or there? You've wasted gas. You've wasted time. You've wasted energy. Why? Because you don't want to humble yourself and say, you know what? I don't know it all after all. So let me see if I can get some help. I actually need some. No harm, no foul, but pride, pride. Oh, that's why the Bible says pride cometh before fall and a haughty heart before destruction. I am telling you, there's so much that gets lost, that gets wasted, even destroyed because of pride, because we won't humble ourselves and ask, for help. Now, what are some of the other areas some of you need help in? I know I needed help in inner healing. I used to refer to myself as an emotional cripple. So what did I do when I got saved? One of the first things I did was, God, please help me forgive everybody whose grave I'd love to dance on right now. All right. But as I pursued God for that healing, I, I mean, for that, um, excuse me, forgiveness. I also thought in my mind, well, now I messed up because of a lot of stuff that was done to me. I had to admit to myself, I messed up. So why don't I stop being so messed up by asking God to heal me? You hear me? Make me whole and remove all of the poisons, toxins, hurts, bitter memories, resentments, everything that has piled up over the decades in my life from being hurt, used, played, and whatever. So that's what I did. As a result, I got a tremendous amount of inner healing. Yes, I needed help. And yes, today I still need help in different areas. But I'm not afraid to ask and I'm not afraid to admit I need it. Are you? Think about it. If you really, really, really want help, you must go to God. You will not find it in a pill. You will not find it in therapy. You may get some help. Yes, you will. There are some times where there's a little interim season where you have to deal with a little substitute for a minute. But then the ultimate healing, ultimate irreversible healing only comes from God. Please remember to start seeking him instead of all of them for your healing. Seek him for help and don't be afraid to ask some of them for directions, for instructions, for suggestions, because somebody, I'm sure many, know things way more than you do no matter how intelligente you may think you are, no matter how many degrees you may have behind your name. Remember, 
Somebody else knows more than you. Don't hesitate to ask and life will be so much easier. God bless you.